Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I hope you're having a good day today. I'm gonna paint a cloud painting. I'm gonna paint a little one. Well, here, let me show you the reference photo first. So there's the reference photo. I linked it in this video's description. And then I'm gonna crop it closer and square. And it may not turn out exactly like this, but basically I'm focusing on the big cloud. And I'm gonna paint it on an eight by eight inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I've got clear gesso on it. It's an inch and a half thick. And it's sort of like a study because I wanna do a 20 by 20 painting, a much larger painting. Okay, let's have some fun guys. Okay, let's chat a minute. My paints are all Liquitex. The only heavy body is Thalo Blue Green Shade. Then the rest are basics. Cad Yellow Medium Hue, so Thalo Blue Green Shade. Cad Yellow Medium Hue. Mars Black, Titanium White, and Quinacridone Magenta. So primary, primary colors. Not literally, but I've got red, yellow, blue. I muted the Thalo Blue Green shade with some black and put some white in it. And I used this one inch Filbert brush from Royal and Langnickel. And I like to do a little bit of a sweeping because I'm kind of aiming for a third here. And I think that these subtle brush strokes will help keep you in the painting because my clouds, you can look at it a couple different ways. It leads you in or it's leading you out. But having a little bit of a few strokes going this way will help keep, I think, keep you in the painting a little bit better. I don't know that you need to do it. Just stuff that I think about. <laughs> and then I wanted to go greener so it looks like an ocean because sometimes the sky does go warmer and greener as you go down. Darker at the top, lighter at the bottom, and then quite often warmer at the horizon line too. It does depend on the day and the sky. And then I mixed a brown by mixing some quinacridone magenta cad yellow and some black. And when this brown, I put a little white in it, it goes kind of pinky purpley. I don't know if you can see that in the video. And I pulled some of that brown over and added quite a bit of yellow to it. And that's more this brown down here. And then the other thing, I used this brush. I did use, I think it was off camera, I did grab this brush a little bit to clean up the horizon line. I think it was on the side. This is just a quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. I don't think it was in the time lapse. I used this brush for both the sky and the ground. And then the other thing I'm thinking a little bit is you can kind of see I'm, I'm leading you in just a little bit to where my clouds are gonna kind of aim for. They're gonna be big clouds coming down to little clouds. And then I'm kind of also leading you in this way a little bit. I may need to start a new palette. That got quite messy. <laughs> That's okay. We know what our, our colors are. I'm going to let this dry overnight and I'll be back tomorrow.
Okay, I thought I'd pop in. I used this brush for a little bit of the cloud originally. You can use any brush. Um, it's the one inch filbert that I used for the background from Royal and Langnickel. And then I felt like I wanted some more control. So I went down to a number 12 filbert. Also Royal and Langnickel, it's their mental line. And it's almost too small but I, I just filled it in like if I had to felt like I had too much detail this is just my blue with a little more black and I'm following I mean I'm not following every cloud I mean it's it's here can we do this it's quite similar oh I just dumped my palette in my garbage <laughs> here maybe don't quite have enough real estate there we go pretty close I'm gonna work on the ground I think this guy could be done I like the little streaks I have up here I think that's fun um, I'm going to link how to paint clouds which is all in real time if you want to see how I do it with a filbert and various other brushes and a palette knife and a makeup brush it's a fun video gosh it's a couple years old now but if you want to see me do it in real time it's the exact same thing I think that's about all. I'm gonna go fetch my palette. I think that's about it. Not a lot. Oh, I put a little, I think I maybe put a little pink in here trying to lighten it up, but then it dries darker. I don't know if I succeeded. Oh, I used uh, matte medium. You could use water. So that's matte medium and that's my titanium white, just to keep it thin. Uh, when I first put it on, it wasn't thin enough. So then I, I just grabbed some, put some water in my brush and smeared it. I've got little hints of pink and kind of beige in my clouds. I need to step back and see if I need to add more of it. I like the juicy sky. You guys can let me know what you think. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm calling it done. I like it, I like it. And when I'm right on top of it, the clouds look a little too rough to me and yet there's a lot of detail in the reference photo. Here, let's do a tour. All right, I'll see if I can get on my tippy toes. Oh, I think it looks nice. Keep in mind the video smooths it out a little bit. Just so when you paint yours, if it looks rough, or if you paint yours on canvas, the wood panel's smoother. I put a, I think I already talked about this a little bit. There's a little bit of sort of beigey yellow to help tie in the ground and a little bit of warm pink to help tie in the ground. I didn't put in nearly as many trees, but I like that. They're just little Bob Ross trees. Oh, and the vertical light and dark lines, a little bit of rain. Put a little yellow just to warm it up. A little green, greenish to match the sky. It's actually a little blue there. Oh, and then kind of just dabbing a little bit to indicate some rough ground. But mostly um, horizontal strokes. And then I you can see it a couple different ways like I'm, I'm leading you in this way and then you have the clouds and then they go this way but i also have a little zigzag like that too i like it i think it's one thing that's fun about painting of course it's all personal preference too but when you um hopefully make it a little better or a little more interesting than the photo I don't know if I can get them both in here <laughs> I'm trying leave my hands in the way I don't know I can't tell if that's in there but it's close let me know if you give this one a try I really enjoyed it so my the the cloud painting 
video that I'll link that I mentioned earlier that I'll link just uses white but you can come back with darker colors and other colors too to enhance it but it gives you the, sort of the meat and potatoes of how to paint a cloud okay guys I really enjoy hanging out with you I can't thank you enough super appreciate your support I couldn't do it without all of you great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon bye guys